recently, so I think it's gone right today. They've got some here. I'm glad that we've got here in time to have the sun in today. Amazing. Amazing. Sun and new stars. These are pretty colours, aren't they? Black pepper. Dandelion and milk thistle infusion, English lavender, Earl Grey tea. And I'm going to open these and try one now. Cornish clotted cream truffles, they look lovely. White chocolate filled with a Cornish clotted cream ganache. They do look nice. They do look nice. They leave the dust in on the fingers. <laughs> Might be a toffee latte. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, I was too late to go in Starbucks. I forgot the time. I was looking for glue in Morrison's. That's typical, isn't it? So now I was doing. Looks quite nice. How cute they look together, Teddy and Ellie. Ellie and Teddy. <laughs> Ooh. Trying to do this old fixer back together. I haven't used that. I couldn't get it undone. I haven't even used that. I've just I've just used this with bit of paper oh, and some roll put round. Um, I was going to try and mix up paper mache but I haven't so we'll see how she gets on. Oh, I'm pleased how this has turned out for Undine. She's one of those dark, you, I've made her taller because she was on a, she had one of those skirts that you put a cord in her back and um, but there was a gap there so I filled it in with uh, in in a tube from a toilet roll, keep putting layers with the PVA wood glue, and now I'm going to get some nail polish, the nearest colour I can find to her, so that that's not so noticeable. So that's done really well. It's quite firm there now. I think I might have to use some of that matte mixed up with this, mm, another one, and to see the matte nail polish from Claire's on there to try and blend it in with her. But that's really quite good. She's quite firm there now. I must open these as well at some point, the ones I got from poor old Toys R Us. Well I'm going to use some of this binky one as well because that is too apricot colour. So um, um, just to disguise it slightly. Well she's suffering for her art but it will be worth it in the end Undine. It will be worth it in the end. She's balancing herself very well there. Ah! spoke too soon, but at least she hasn't touched anything. <laughs> Try again. Right, she's standing unaided now, doing a good hand stand, head stand there, so... Yay. I'm dreading there are all those nasty little plastic tags on everything that's going to have to be taken off. Uh, they're so annoying. They're such nice clothes though with this set. I love that red dress. Um, so there's some, and that skirt, and that nice dress, and there's a, that's a nice dress with a nice pink furry top. So, um, that was really good value from Toys R Us. It's a swimming costume with a cover-up. 
wish there were some gold stiletto shoes. There aren't any gold ones there, but I like, do like these outfits. Right now I've got a pair of my glass to get these out. They're trapped in there. And these little tags everywhere, but I'm not complaining. It's a lovely, a lovely set. It's a lovely furry little fluffy top. She's still there, upside down. Yes, she is. With her support. <laughs> oh. I look at this lovely set before I start digging into them. So yeah, lovely. So that's nice. Little furry top. Everything's lovely here. It's, t it's almost too nice to <laughs> delve into, isn't it? But um, I'll get the screwdriver. Do want those out? I bet they won't fit on yet. Because they're for um ordinary, and she's a curvy Barbie, and they have bigger feet, the curvy ones. These are those gladiator sandals from the fashion pack from Toys R Us and the only Barbies they fit are the regular bar Barbies. So none of those clothes are going to fit any Barbies apart from the regular ones but they do look nice here on Tanith. They suit, her, they go with her outfit, they suit her skirt I think so. <coughs> yeah, so there we go, she's sorted out now. And this girl, I've given her a false middle so that she's taller and filled that gap and um, so yeah she's taller now this is undine and uh, so she's got a firm middle now as opposed to just a, a hollow space and a gap um oh i did name this one now what did i call her um there's cassandra that's her sister this one i would given a name and now i can't think of it oh it'll come to me I'm sure I called her something beginning with a C. I thought Cassandra and Ca not Cassiopeia, that's a star constellation. And then I think I decided to call her the same name but with a K instead of a C. Now what have I called her? Ca Ca oh, it'll come to me. Carlise. <coughs> this is this one's name, Carlise. K A R L I S E. I don't quite know why that name came to me. I don't even know where the names come from. They sort of suggest themselves. No, I thought I'd named this one. Aida, I think. There's her tray. Oh, she's too dark. You can't see her. <coughs> I had called this one Marinette. Apparently it's the name of a voodoo priestess. So um, I changed it. I'm going to call her... Oh, I don't know. I think I'll call her Mambia. As a name I've made up. I don't know if it is a real name, but um, we'll have to see. She's so pretty. I like the name Marinette. I think it suited her, but I don't want people to think, oh, you've given her an obvious name because it's a voodoo. It, it, it was, you know. Um, <clears throat> I thought Marinette quite, but then it's a bit like Marionette, isn't it? Like a, 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 a puppet thing. So, no, I think Mambia, Mambia, I think that quite suits her, Mambia, because she looks rather mysterious, especially when she's got her long black dress on, but beautiful hair, she's so lovely, I love her earrings as well, and her pink lipstick, oh, of course she just fell on the floor, so I've had to just shake her out to get any muck out of her hair, oh, and if I sneeze any more, I don't know how many more times I'm going to sneeze, I can't bear the thought that I'm starting a fourth cold, a third cold in quick succession meant I was going to bed early and I wasn't there for my poor little friend the little black cat at night to let her come in to shelter and then when I saw her next she had terrible bronchitis and has been seriously ill because she wasn't able to get in here for those nights and she's out there in the cold and damp breathing in all the smoke from that low chimney opposite so oh, I don't know life is a problem at times all the worries I try to cheer myself up with these dollies oh well, I've given her this skirt, and then she can have this top. This top was on Carly's sofa bed, but um, I think it looks nicer on this one. And I'd given it to Tanis originally, I think, and then who else had it? Oh, I can't remember. The one with the blue hair, Inez. But um, I think it looks nice on her. It gives her like a carnival atmosphere. It goes with her lips and her shoes, and the top goes with the skirt as a 
I know what I mean. I don't always put it into the right words. I'm sure those shoes are, are, are that's, they were sent as one pair, but I'm sure they look like they come from two different pairs. They're slight different shades of pink. But, um, yeah, so this can be an outfit of hers. This is the only, this dolly is the only one this skirt actually suits. Bit of a struggle to get it on her, because they, they don't seem to want to go on any of them easily, but still, it looks nice on her. No, I'd already had those, um, green wellies and the, some black ones that wore out, Dunlop wellies, and I wanted some more, so I went to this Brontano shop, and found they were gone. They, they went into liquidation two months ago. So I got some... I had to go to a sports direct, so I managed to get some wellies in my size for 30% off the Dunlop ones, because I'm... So, uh, sports direct do Dunlop. So anyone who's, who likes wellies, as I, I do, I'm a welly person. Wellies in the winter, flip-flops in the summer. Oh, I think we're too, uh, I need to put the light on. You know, there's a usual problem I have in here. So I'll be back when I've done that. Okay. I've just shown my wellies downstairs, but I'm now redoing the hall. I've got some nice things from Mark's Spencer's. And... I've got another shout magazine, because I wanted those that lipstick this is really very very good well, I've got some of these things Mexican mix I do like those in the cart but I've got this tea from English lavender and Earl Grey tea from Marks and Spencers oh, I've got white screen again come back oh, that looks quite nice I like Earl Grey and I had William Williamson's Earl Grey with blue flowers which was nice this is nettle dandelion and milk thistle infusion. That's supposed to be really good for you. I'd drink nettle tea anyway. Now let me show you the marks and spots. Couldn't resist that, that lovely glittery pink. Oh, they're going to be rustling, aren't they? The lovely glittery pink of this. It's a pepper pig. I'm not keen. Oh, I'm not in. I am not at all into pepper pig. So um, I suppose you. I'm into a lot of childish things, but not pepper. I do not like pepper pig very much. I, li I like the colour scheme though. It's a nice lunch bag. It's um. Me, how do we open this zip? Of course. Oh, it's oh, it's just white, plain white inside, but it's insulated. <laughs> So that was rather nice. I don't know if you saw it because we've got white screen. Oh, just come back, Mum was here. Let me show it again. You see it? That's pretty, 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 pretty. Pretty glittery pink. And it's a nice glittery surface that's not like catches and everything. When I went into um, the Smiggles, they had a beautiful bright pink glittery bag. I thought, oh, I must get that. And um, it was glittery all round. But there was only one side, the side that you hold against you, was the only side that was smooth like this. All the rest was that sort of glitter that catches on everything and pulls your threads out. And you'd have a load of dirt left, like had threads and fibres attached to it, and you'd be accumulating a load of muck as you walk along. <laughs> I got this from Marks and Spencers, this skirt. I've got white screen again, so I don't even know if I'm in the right place for you to see me. Oh. So flaming annoying and disheartening. Right, it's just come back momentarily. I did try it on in the store to sort of um to show you. It's a nice nice skirt. So just turn that down. I don't want the radio on too loud. This was just a, a, a hooded top I got it's from age. 13 to 14 I do believe kids M&S kids but um it fitted me and um I, it's no good me showing that it had just blanket all out the webcam a light and everything and they just looked like shades of grey but I got I saw this one first and I liked the colour and I thought I like that so I got this it's a nice colour lilac let me try and try it on for you more than a decade ago.
<sighs> yeah, I've got my night shirt on, I know. I'm depressed. I try to keep going, it's difficult when you suffer from depression and a severe anxiety, and I'm worried about the little cat. But, uh, anyhow. Oh! This is quite nice. Can you see it? Oh, white screen picture come back, please. Oh. Yeah, I can't get... I'm hoping you can see me. I've got complete white screen. There's no picture on screen at all, so I can't see myself. But this is nice. I like the um, coppery coloured zip in front, which is very nice. Yeah. My rubbish waiting to go out. I hope it doesn't blow all down the road. It does when it's quite windy. It even looks pretty in... That even looks pretty in the rubbish bag. <laughs> Japanese uh, sweets. Look at that little face. So pretty, like a little bush baby. Oh, poor little somebody. Yeah, so pretty. What's the matter then? Eh? Hey? What's the matter? Don't you like the camera? Oh, funny little somebody. <laughs> Those eyes. Oh, this is very sad. A little black cat came in and knocked all the dollies over last. A load of them all went down onto the floor. There was an avalanche. It took me ages to get them all up, and I had to put them all in that bag and put them in that sports rec bag and put them in the bathroom for now. So I'm having to pack some away in this large storage container I got from Home Bargains. Oh, moving some of the dolls caused an avalanche to happen. A load of lip balm as well. Oh dear, so there's more dollies having to go away. There's going to be a load in this box and it's surprising how heavy they all are. Oh look, poor Jai here's got her hand, arm out like she's saying, no, no, somebody I've taken away who she wants to stay with her. Who is it? Is it Sparkle? Is it? So, or Josephine? Which, or honey? Which one is it? You No, don't worry. <laughs> oh dear. I know I'm being silly. Oh, I don't like having to put the dollies away. Riviera can stay out for now. Oh, another avalanche. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to leave Daisy Petals out. But, oh dear, I'm doing my best to uh, put things back here. Um, Daisy Petals there. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, this fits on her. Those shoes fit her, so which is nice. And I've got some shoes that fit her, but the skirt is too small. It doesn't do up, so I'm going to give that maybe to this one. And try this skirt on Sonia. All right, this one. This girl's all right in this outfit. That suits her. So she can have that. That's very nice. Those shoes are meant to go with it, but I don't think she needs them. And Sonia here can have this skirt, that, and that looks good on her, though it needs an iron. I don't have one. But that's, that's so those two are sorted out. Oh, and I've given a headband to Alison. So, getting through this little set from Toys R Us. I don't know who's going to have that yet. I'm sure There's Eritrea in her new trousers and, so and bag. You must also have been so, um, she looks quite good in that, I think. <laughs> Actually, she can have those. Excellent. She's all got on um, these boots I've given her. I think they suit yes, her Sandra. quite good. Is not to be I don't think the glasses go... They don't really suit her. Little... Well, these ones I took off Eritrea, they fit this Skipper doll, but um, I don't think I like them on her, really. I have to I'll put her dress back on, I think. I think this dress looks nicer on her. This looks rather nice, I think. From Waitrose Bakery, I've got a uh, cheese twist, the cheese straws, one with seeds, and they look rather nice. Let me try one of these cheese straw. Mmm! Mmm! Try the one with seeds. Mmm, 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 delicious, mmm, bubbly, mmm. I'm just having one of these Milka Choco Cows. 
plain chocolate, on, I mean ordinary chocolate, milk chocolate, but with no indentations on that side. And these are from Poundland. <laughs> Quite nice. Well, this looks rather nice. I think I've had this before, coconut and almond butter. Uh, sort of spread. It looks, but well, I got it from an independent health food store. I found an old Summerfield bag. Oh, I do miss Summerfield. Two Summerfield bags, actually. I got some of the coconut blossom. Got three, a pack of three from Marks and Spencer's because I was worried they're going to stop doing them. They normally stop doing anything I like, so um, I've got three of them. Because I've got one here. And that's an old one, that's a bigger one, so oh, I've got a replacement, so I love the smell of this, it's really nice. I've got one of the Barbie fashion packs, the boho dress, at the festival, I think it's called festival. Festival, and um, that little top's got like a uh, pattern effect, but it was this dress I wanted. It's a shame it doesn't extend to the back, it's plain at the back, but I thought maybe... Uh, not Melinda. Melanie here might like this. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, Melanie looks quite happy in her new dress. She needs different shoes for this outfit. But I think that suits her. I don't know whether I'm going to leave this with her or whether someone else might utilise it. But um, could be an alternative for her. But I'll have to try it on someone else to see if it looks better. Well, here it is on Natalia. A curvy girl, but she doesn't look too happy about it. <laughs> mm. No, it doesn't suit her. She's not, it's not my style. <laughs> she doesn't like it at all. I can tell. Oh dear, no, I'm sorry about that. We'll take it off, don't worry. My salmon lissoise again today, but I can't see hardly any salmon. I presume it's underneath there somewhere. Today. They're not doing those little biscuits with the tea anymore. It's like an old fashioned mango or something, isn't it? I haven't tried this before. I'll try this. I'm going to use it today. The darkness was flashing while the party rain stands in the sky. I'm going to cowboy to walk down in a minute. 